you know, the, the first thing mm -hmm. that I want to ask you is, yeah. is it important to have some type of security uh -huh. in order to do a startup? Because you, okay. you were just saying that you had an IT consulting firm first, which I'm yeah. sure gave you some revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe probably. gave you a cushion. Okay. Is Hong Kong the type of place where you need that extra security, or can you just free for all? True, sure, actually true. Sure. Um, the at the beginning, at when I was starting my startup is around 2012. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it's quite hard to get funding. So um, that's why we decide to work using two legs. Yeah. Um, so I get quite a few uh, sum of revenue uh, from the IT consulting because yeah. we didn't actually get any um, fund raised in the startup. So mm -hmm. I do the product at the same time and then the IT consulting. The IT consulting is main business because you need to serve the client. Of course. Yeah. And then after we generate around um, quite some revenue and then we put it into our own product mm -hmm. and we hire people based on that company and then ask them to do yeah <laughs> do some extra Our, work on yeah, the side. Extra, yeah sure extra sure. things and then that's how we build the team actually yeah. and also they help us to build a startup and the very beginning the prototype the MVP is built by those intern those um, those staff and extra resources oh, we steam in so I got a question then about this not not just really the staffing but about executing that plan yeah so. Is it hard, first of all, to go after fin fi financing for your startup in Hong Kong in general? Uh huh. So, which stage? You mean when you're first starting out? Are you yeah. are, are you continually in a bootstrap mode? Yeah. And you're always using your own money. Uh huh. And then, t walk me through sort of like if I'm starting up a startup in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kinds of connections do I need to make oh. to make that easier? Now it's much more easier. Yeah. So um, at that time when I start my startup. Um, there's only one, no, none collecting space in Hong Kong. No. Really? Wow. Yeah, even Cocoon, those, they, they are not Didn't open. exist. Yeah, they didn't exist. And after a year that I start my first company, and then they start coming up, and now it's like, I heard it's 40 something. So that's a lot. Yeah, it is. Um, at the beginning, we start in library in school, just wow. like this. And wow. uh, right now, you got so many resources. And um, actually, we went to a program uh, by Cyberport. Uh, we were one of the incubators. And I think that's the one way you can get started because they are very, very well connected. Mm -hmm. So when we get to Cyberport, and then they have incubation, they have some money, a little bit, and maybe 100,000, mm -hmm. Hong Kong. And then they have incubation, provide you the office, provide you for some reimbursement, mm -hmm. and then you can start hiring and buying some equipment, something like that. Yeah. And that's a good start. And they're very well connected to some funding, to some um, other resources. So actually our first angel, uh, angel round uh, is around two million, mm. Hong Kong. Uh, we raised through Cyberport. So because they recommend us to some pitching event, and mm. we pitched to, I think, uh, around 50 investor. And Actually, quite quite a lot are interested, and mm -hmm. then we see like three of them. I'm yeah. curious about the makeup of those investors. Yeah. When you saw them, whether or not they were investing in you or in some other company, mm -hmm. are they all local investors, or are they coming from around the the region? Uh, I think they most m most come from Hong Kong. Okay. Most of them, and some of them are foreigners. And um, actually, they are pretty young also. Really, so even for yeah. the investor. So. They are learning how to be an investor in mm. that in that event, and mm. they have some workshop on angel investment. Yeah, and they are new, and we are new. So, so it's a perfect yeah, timing. It's a perfect timing, and <laughs> kind of. So some of them they are not very experienced. Yeah. and if you want, maybe you can fool each other. But yeah. actually, that's not a good thing mm. at the beginning. I was going like, to ask. Yeah, because uh, in uh, in in the US, there's a lot of experience angel, sure, sure. and they help you a lot in the business instead of just money. So I guess my question then is, do you think the investment climate in Hong Kong is actually stable enough for a large amount of startups to grow? Or do you think, I don't know, are we still a long way off from this, this sort of Silicon Valley yeah, narrative yeah. and stuff like that? Actually, um, before last week, I, I won't have that answer, but last week I went to Beijing. Hmm. So um, actually when I went to Beijing, there's a, oh my God, um, there's a whole street of angel investor, so the whole street. Wow. So, and um, I see the startup environment. So like, for example, like event like this today, maybe we get uh, 500, 1,000 people, but in Beijing, they mm. got, um, I think 10,000, something wow. like that. And all, all investors, they, they went through maybe some, some from beginning to IPO. Mm -hmm. And that's very rare in Hong Kong. So mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, maybe they just focus 
not focus, but what they can do is angel investment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people or company they die after yeah. after that. That's normal, even even for the US. But um, not a lot of investor they went through the whole thing. So um, I think we need more um, more experience and reaching out more to get more. Yeah. So then my last question to you then is, as an entrepreneur. Yeah. What should you be prepared to have a discussion about with investors when you're actually going to them? And what should you be looking for? Uh -huh. and, and, and what advice would you give to people who are doing that? Okay, um, one is product. Get your MVP or, or some prototype at least to show or demo mm -hmm. instead of like just talk about talk, the idea. Yeah. And maybe some traction, some data or some successful case. Um, actually, some some we we doing events, right? Event organizing, and and at that time we build an MVP, which is for the check-in, and um, our first client is a paid client already. I think that attract other investor a Got lot. It. And uh, third one is talk to more, so getting more chance. Got so it. I think um, that's three. But and last, I think is um, the people. Um, your integrity and, and your personality also attract the investors. Sometimes they just like you and they don't mm. care what you do and they invest on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck with yours. Thank you. Hope event extra Thank blows you. up. Thank you. Big? Good. Thank you. All right, thanks, Al. Thanks.